one of the reasons, at least in my opinion, that it's so popular is that it's kind of purpose built to be really flexible for any use case. So a core tenant of Airflow when it was first developed that kind of set it apart from some legacy schedulers or orchestrators was that your data pipelines are written in Python. Um, Airflow itself, everything in the project is written in Python. And then when you develop your um, pipelines or they're referred to as DAGs, uh, so I might slip into saying that throughout, um, those are all written in Python code. So you can manage your pipelines just like you would any other software. And you can also then kind to leverage like anything that you can do in Python to implement that within your tasks. And then, you know, Airflow itself has a lot of features that have been added on top of it um, to, again, make it super flexible for a lot of different use cases. So historically, we did see Airflow used a lot for kind of a traditional like ETL for analytics use cases. I think that's still kind of a bread and butter thing. But in the past, you know, I would say five years or so, there's been a really big expansion in terms of Airflow being used for other use cases. So you mentioned like data science, um, kind of that ML ops space and managing models and all of the data preparation that goes into use cases like that. And then of course, in the last kind of couple of years, the LLM ops space. So um, managing LLM workflows, uh, AI workflows, anything with agents, Airflow is great for all of that.